Righto, well let's get on to the punting for Saturday then, Luke. I understand we're teasing a bliss bet tomorrow, is that right? Yeah, we haven't put the bliss bet in place just yet, but keep all eyes on Saturday when we will announce what that is so that we can have a big crack at it and we're going to need all of your prayers to get this one home. Gee, it's not like you're going to be busy enough tomorrow. You must have a best bet for us though. Yeah, I do. So at Ellerslie, just kidding, you're going to be going down south because if I did it and gave out the best bet here, I reckon Thad might wind it in. So we're going to go down south to Rick it in and have a crack at if I did it in race number seven. Back to that roomy track. This horse will get us paid and give us a bit more ammo for the punters club. And I'm going to the Karakamillion's three-year-old race tomorrow afternoon. If you can't split Molly Bloom and Orkeshul, you can get them both top four power play for $2.30. I think both of these horses will be fighting it out at the end. J-Mac versus Blake Shin. It should be a hell of a finish to the Kanaka Millions tomorrow night. And Ben's recovered from his stag do. Now he's going to try and pay for his wedding. And he's going to do that down at Rickerton in race number eight. His own horse, Millie Fiore, set for this race, should be winning a great each-way play at fives and twos. And the best bets from the rest of the lads this weekend. The Harness fellas going tonight at Addington. Fitzy's got Addington, race six, Courtney Rose. And the Scam Man's going to race eight, Elder Baron Floss. Ted's best for tomorrow, obviously not at Ellerslie, at Trentham, race four, Black Betty. The Goat's going to Trentham as well, Boomtown Boy, race seven. Dan's best, he's multiing up Merchant Queen, top three, Pendragon, top four, at Ellerslie. And Maddie, Aussie Matt, the Valley, race two, CR7.